go. Worth waiting for because it's been two weeks since we've seen any measurable rainfall. Just under a tenth of an inch, Santa Rosa, just over a tenth of an inch downtown. About a half inch in Ben Lomond. That's one of the spots that always picks up a little bit more. But almost a quarter inch of rain in San Jose. Good for you in the Santa Clara Valley because you have, yeah, gotten short shrift on a lot of these rain chances so far this winter. And there's more to come over the next several days. And a few more to come as we head through the rest of this evening. Spotty showers out there right now. We'll zoom in for a closer look. And we're looking at shower activity it's going to be winding down pretty rapidly over the next few hours there's one shower in sonoma county making its way from windsor down towards santa rosa that one is just going to be passing through briefly maybe 10 15 minutes or so worth of rainfall not much around the central bay san francisco seeing a mix of clouds and sunshine so is most of the east bay just a few sprinkles falling right now in the Diablo Range. A little more of that as you look farther south along the Diablo Range and still some showers making their way into the Santa Clara Valley, especially right along 280 right now. So some puddles for the evening commute. All this activity should be quieting down over the next, I think, three to four hours at the most. Everything winding down from north to south across the Bay Area this evening. But then the next round of rain is going to be headed our way in just about 36 hours or so. Futurecast does have a few sprinkles in the radar simulation as we head towards midnight, but we dry things out with some locally dense fog developing by early tomorrow morning. That's going to be with us for the first several hours of Saturday morning. Once it dissipates, lots of sunshine in store by Saturday afternoon and temperatures should warm up a little bit more than they did today. We'll zoom back in for the approach of that next storm system is going to be knocking at our doorstep by mid morning on Sunday and then moving in as we head into Sunday afternoon. This is going to be like today with light to moderate rainfall amounts. It's not going to last into Monday. In fact, most of the rain should already be moving out by Sunday evening and winding down entirely overnight Sunday night. A dry day on Monday, and then the next storm system is going to be heading our way by Tuesday. Let's just add up the Sunday rainfall amounts. It's very similar to what we had today with around a tenth of an inch to a quarter inch for the North Bay and about a quarter inch to a half inch for the South Bay. So once again, the South Bay does get a chance to catch up on those rainfall amounts, the deficit we've been running so far this season. Beautiful sunset right now as we look westward towards Sutro Tower. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 40s and low 50s. It's not very warm out there, but feels like what it's supposed to feel like in January. Temperatures are going to dip down into the upper 30s inland with clearing skies overhead. 40s by the bay and along the coast, even down to around freezing in Santa Rosa to start the day on Saturday. But temperatures should be a couple degrees above average by Saturday afternoon. So that means upper 50s around the bay. Along the coast, probably mid 50s with upper 50s to around 60 degrees farther inland. Not bad. Anything outdoors you want to get done this weekend? Saturday is your day because that next storm system moves in on Sunday, primarily during the afternoon and evening. We dry out Monday and then late Tuesday, a more substantial, actually an atmospheric river is going to be headed our way, which means some heavy rainfall Tuesday night into Wednesday, even lingering into Thursday and potentially Friday. 